Generic greetings and welcome back to another Brick in the Mall where we will be hopefully making a lot of money with this store which is something we built last episode. This is the jewellery store and it is literally just jewellery as you can see. It's got like necklaces and brooches and earrings and um, other such things and apparently some guy that I don't know he should be on some sort of registers turned up and yep yeah, he's found whatever he wants and... Not paying for it. There we go. Uh, finally, he's actually bought something and left. So that's one person. And there's no one else that's really coming in. There's one or two people, but there's a lot of walking for them to do. So what we might do is make a fairly big car park here. I think that would be a decent choice. And then sort of progress on and make other stars. So that's what we'll be doing this episode. Let's go to road work and to road. And we'll place a road that goes straight across like so. And then we will have uh, pretty much along here, customer parking, customer parking, well, actually what we'll do is have a road that goes straight down first, I don't know how far, but we'll we'll just pull it down and then we'll obviously split it off when we do things like customer parking on this side, like so, and uh, yeah, customer parking there, then we'll be customer parking like so, and then a road like that, okay, so it's very similar to this, in fact it is it is exactly the same as that, something we have done previously, and hopefully have people more uh, more people coming over this side because it's it is a bit out of the way i will I will admit, so perhaps getting this in will resolve that, but who knows we can only try we can only try, so we've got i believe that is um a bit of research completed, which is road network uh yeah road network three, so we can actually connect up to another road, which is this one down here. Should we actually do that? Should we connect the road up? It might be worth it. I don't know if that would bring any more people here. I think it is just mainly a case of um I think it's mainly just a case of the oh well, yeah people are parking here this is good I think it is just a case of they can get to the the stores that may be closer but obviously they're not because they're going to use that one there but maybe it's something we want to go ahead and try so we'll see anyway there's a was that road I placed the, no, customer parking it has to be customer parking uh, the road will continue going down and then we'll have a road that goes across like that customer parking will go across here yeah, that should probably do us quite nicely. Made 34 grand yesterday, and that's with spending. So let's have a quick look at manage over to the jewellery. And you can see it's only just losing money. Only just. But, you know, that's not too bad. It'll hopefully increase as we progress on. So back to building. Customer parking again. Straight across, I think, is probably the best way to go. And then that will do us. Right, so over to road. And we do want to... Bring the road right down, and then, oh, it actually lines up. <laughs> I thought, it, honestly, I wouldn't say I was dreading it, but I was really, I was not going to be happy if it was if it come down and it was like one square off. But the fact that it goes straight down and joins up, uh, I think means we probably best doing it, just because we can, really. So that's good. A lot of people parking around here as well, which I'm uh, quite happy to see. So yeah, a lot of lot of customers on site. Haven't got any staff parking around here, but you know we can all, we can all resolve that at any time. Really, we can probably do the same thing there. Obviously, this one is different to this because we haven't left these gaps. But that's mainly because um, a I forgot and b <laughs> uh, we have well the straight road. So I was sort of wanting to write the opposite this one here. So yeah. At least it's different. So, there's every you know, every cloud and all that. Uh, this annoys me, this road here, but, you know, it's just the size of the store. It's because the road is technically this size, but then you, it puts these white lines on either side just because it does. Cash is going up, as you can see. Look at that. It's just flying straight up there. In terms of objectives, tell a daily profit of over 50 grand. We are only 34 grand on there. Uh, have 200 customers on site, so we're up to 140 maximum. And then make 50,000 total sales, which, as you can see, we're close. We're getting close to being halfway there. So that's quite respectable. Let's go over to build and then road. And we will build a road right across and then down. And we're going to put, like, a bakery or something in here, I think think or maybe a cinema but the cinema is going to be quite large and I think we'll have a very large cinema here I think that's like right right across from this car park I think that will make sense in fact what we'll do we'll have a road going across like that you see and ooh, do we want it any bigger how big do we want this thing mm, I think I think that's the right size I think that is fine don't think it needs to be any bigger than that sir so we'll do that. That'll be the size of our uh, our cinema. 
and we'll have to check the cinema sizing because you have um, the way the cinema works essentially is you have a let's have a quick look at our objects here you have a like a I guess it would be a projector, a yeah, movie projector. And what that does is it projects like a a beam and it has a certain size, but I don't know what that is. But you can rotate it, which is useful. But I, it has a certain size, and I, but I don't know what that is. So ideally you want it so the edges of the projection are just on the edges of the room, but I don't know, like I say, what that actually is. We'll go to build and over to foundations and build a big... Um, cinema in here. Now, we are making this one taller rather than longer, but that's not a big issue, really. What is an issue is uh, essentially the fact that I've never made a cinema, so I'm going to have to like figure it out as we go, but not that's a, I don't think that's a massive problem, is it? So anyway, we've got two people working here. We could hire more people, but we're trying to get this objective, which is... Um, you turn a daily profit and the more people we hire obviously that'll go down which I'm not too bothered but then again then again miss sales opportunity five that's interesting it's mainly because of the well it is because of the food the lack of food but I don't know how to resolve it because a lot of them are I think the needs say fine dining and such yeah there's a big demand for fast food but then if you actually go to the fast food restaurant it's, it's actually making money. Well, there's the, there's the fast food. Let's just actually keep an eye on it and see how much money it makes. And see if it ever gets f like to a point where they can't serve anyone. Nope. It's serving people. I guess the, the store's just not centralised, perhaps? Or are people leaving? That's the question. No, they are getting served quite happily. We could probably do with another cashier in here, but... No, look at that. That's fine. We've only got two cashiers on, but oh, it's starting to get a bit full now. But no, they're getting served fast enough, and we're cooking the food fast enough, and then that's it. You know what? And that person's stuck there. <laughs> All the lights are off. Everybody's gone home. I'm going to finish my meal. <laughs> Strange. Right. Um. Yeah, so one person was not happy about that. That's, that is very, very strange indeed. Anyway, so we want to go to... Uh, a sign and movie theater so you need requires access requires projectors two of uh, spectator seats and a ticket lobby okay so how does that even work do you need a separate building like no you can't That is very strange indeed, because it does say like you need access, movie projectors. I'm guessing if you separate it off and do this, right, if you have two separate rooms, it's not going to work, because then you won't be able to have the tickets at the front. So what I'm probably going to have to do is go to build over to walls and have the... Um, and have it so the the individual screens which will have one here one here we'll pre pretty much put on the back wall um we might even have it on the front one as well might have one there 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 and then this is the ticket office that sounds about right but we need to know the size of it first but whatever the walls we put in we can't have a door on the entrance where's there okay so we'll go to uh, we'll go to build and over to objects double door and we'll put a double door in what i would consider to be the center but i don't know what that center would be hang on one two three four five six seven eight is, i don't even know if there is a center hang on best way to do it is to go to foundations i believe so it's 26 so 13 to 13 so it's doors there I believe is I think that's correct but I might place even more doors on it do we need more doors? no we don't need more doors at all so I'm placing that and I will just double check on the foundations that that is correct 12 ah crap and 12 oh no, that is correct yeah because I measured from the center right that's good that's fine so 
objects, scroll you down, projector. I'm going to shove one of these in. I want to see where it projects to. So I'll put it further back. There we are. So click on that. And it doesn't project anywhere because it doesn't tell me because it needs to be on, I'm guessing. Oh dear, oh dear. Right, let's assume perhaps that it does this. If it's a 45 degree angle, but I don't know how far it goes. Oh, you know what? I'm just going to remove that. And I'll I'll just build it. And if it's wrong, I'll rebuild it. I don't really care too much. So this is 26. Can we split it up evenly? Eight, eight, and eight. Yes, we can. I thought we could. And then this comes back to here. That is eight, eight. So there we go. And then that is our cinema. That's the layout. Okay. Now, whether or not these are right or wrong, I have no idea. And actually, now that I think about it, that is a bad design already because of where I've put the entrance ways. The entrance ways should be in the corners because the projector will be in the center. Okay. That should be about right, he says, without any degree of confidence. Go to a sign over to movie theater and we'll shove that down. Um, so we will manage that. Uh, we'll call it the flicks. Don't know why that uh, got that. No, do you know what the flicks? I don't know why that's a local thing. I think because it, you know, the, the 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 sound of the um movie theater. Actually, you know, I'll not call that. It's the GMT, the Generic Movie Theater. Build objects, and I've s I've already messed up because this is not um, <laughs> a centralized. It's not it because uh, it's even, and this is a one block. It's going to be offset, isn't it? Whatever I do. Oh well, let's just put it in, and we'll deal with it. We have to deal with it, really. Could put two of them in. That would work out. Probably wouldn't. And, right, what do we need? We need, in here, spectator seats and ticket lobby. So, ticket lobby. Where is the ticket lobby? Spectator seats are there. So, can you just go... Like that? I mean, can you just absolutely slam them in? Let's put them all in. We'll see what happens. And we'll put a ticket lobby in. Uh, don't say a ticket lobby is a separate. Oh, it is. Um. So, I will have to actually set this as a different thing. So, we've got a draw. We'll cancel this off. And we'll build a ticket lobby. So we'll put, we will put doors on this. Do you want to put doors in this? Because it will class as separate bits though, won't it? No, we won't put doors in it. We'll get rid of these. Then we'll assign that as a... Get rid of that. Ticket lobby. There's your ticket lobby. Right. Um, movie theatre. Then we know that that's correct. Okay. So you do have a ticket lobby. I'm assuming that you will need to assign the lobby that. There we go. And we'll need to build cashiers, order counters, and associated, associated theatre. Okay, so that's why there's no separate things. That's understandable. So we will go for a order counter. And we'll have an order counter there and there and there. There you go. And that's, that's essentially all you need, actually, I believe. Well, we'll need cashiers, you understand, but that'll be it. Right, so manage. Opens up 8 till 10. 
sign lobby that one. There you go. So it's actually the ticket lobby you manage and not the theatre. The theatre is um it is required ticket lobby and it's not legit yet until we've placed these in, which is that. Why is a ticket lobby? Oh, it's incomplete because we haven't got the staff. Of course, of course, of course, of course, of course, of course. Um, of course. Hi, cashier. You. Hi, cashier. You. And there we go. There has been some comments from last episode. Um, I, I mentioned about going around and potentially placing all of the... Uh, let me just go to fill here. I'm just, what I'm going to do is fill. All of this, the red carpet, because it makes sense. Uh, there's been uh, talk about uh, going around and changing all of the time so the staff work um, between the proper hours, because it says it was set at least an hour beforehand. So it might be something we want to. We might want to go ahead and do that. But uh, well, I said, shall we do it? And there was a couple of comments saying yes. However, there's other ones saying, well, you can, but it also costs you more money. Like what'll happen essentially if I if I open it up to say work at eight, which the more they are, what happens if they then no one's coming to this theatre? Mm, is it because I've built it wrong? It is a required ticket lobby, so yeah, it's just wrong. Uh, I'll finish what I was on about. Yeah, so we'll go around and change the opening hours as well as the staff uh, times because you can see we've got a... You have to, it says there, leave at least an hour, so go around and change it. So uh, pull it back to say start at six because it says at least an hour, so two hours it makes, it makes sense. But then you have to pay them more so actually you don't end up losing money and generally what happens is everybody... You, you say start work at eight, people also start turning up at when the store opens as well. So it's about even. So... That's why we're not going to change it. So we'll go down to the movie theatre and zone assigned lobby is that one. And it is now active. Yes, this is an active place and people are coming in and... <coughs> right. So what's actually happening here, as you can see, is they've sat down in here. <laughs> oh, they're sitting in this one, but only this theatre's on. Oh, that is tremendous. Fantastic. Great. Good. <laughs> Oh, alpha game is alpha, definitely. Right. Good old early access games. Oh, that... <laughs> That's tickled me, that. I like that. <laughs> oh, good grief. Yeah, so... Yeah, we'll, we'll go and sit in here. And, um... Yeah, there's nothing on. It seems a bit boring, this film. It's like that bit of Black Books, actually, where... Burned Black um, gets locked out and because of the security door. And then he goes walking around. He he goes to see um, Tempocalypse, I think it's called. And the thing is, it's cancelled. But for some reason, he buys a ticket and buys, like, popcorn and a drink and just sits there for two hours while nothing is playing. Now... You know, you can sort of understand, you can understand like what they were trying to get at there. You know, the trying to say he doesn't understand because he hasn't. If you've ever seen Black Books, which if you haven't, I recommend you uh, actually turn this video off and go and watch it right now because it's fantastic. Um, by all means, uh, <laughs> much more entertaining anyway. Uh, yeah, so he uh, he 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 just doesn't understand certain things. So he just I don't understand why this why this thing's so bad, uh, but. The thing is, why would the cashier sell him tickets in the first place if it's cancelled? And if it's cancelled after he's bought the ticket, surely they would go in and say, uh, mate, this is cancelled, uh, refund or whatever. Like, why are you sitting here? <laughs> I don't understand. Uh, apparently, if you look at this look, it says, um, missed sales opportunities because of the, uh, the queues are full in the clothing outlet. Okay, so we'll go to manage and we'll find clothing outlet. Frozen clothing. It's in order of uh, when you've placed it by the this one. So we've got two cashiers, so we'll hire another cashier because we can do that. We have got the space for it. And again, we'll say work at there. And that should hopefully fix the issue. So we should have now, hopefully, in here. 
Oh, I've realised we haven't got a toilet in this place, by the way. Yeah, I'm 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 aware of that. Um, I I I I forgot. Damn it. Okay, we need a toilet in this thing. Let's sort that out. We don't need a toilet, but it just doesn't make sense not having a toilet in here. So we'll go over to build and to walls, and we'll place a wall in along. Ah, it's gonna really shorten this thing up, though. Uh, that and that, like that. That's your toilet. With a entrance. Oh, look, there's a cinema. <laughs> oh, they're sitting there again. Oh, my. All right, fine. Whatever. It's still glitched out, but nothing I can do about it. So, place an ATM in the corner, and I was going to place a drinks machine as well, but it's just not working out. Place a... Where is it? Do I want to put a fountain in the corner? No, I can't. I was going to place like a... Well, let's, let, I tell you what, let's finish the toilets off first, eh? There's the restrooms. And... Ooh, can we actually fit everything I want in here? I don't think we can. I don't think it's too big. I don't think it's big enough. Oh, we can. We can. We're fine. There we go. Bit cramped, but it, it is what it is. Right, so... Uh, restaurant has missed sales opportunities. This thing is up and running. I wanted to place some like arcade cabinets here, but you can see there's got the entrance where. So what I might do is go over to walls, place the walls like so, and then objects. Go down to. We can't rotate the arcade cabinet around. We can't rotate that around, and I actually want probably a vending machine which we can't rotate around. So I'm just gonna have to put a vending machine in either corner, and it's just gonna have to look backwards. Which is a crying shame, but whatever. We'll put a trash can in as well. I think it would be... Oh, look at that, that's silly. Look, there's the sit there, but that one's always on. <laughs> oh my. Anyway, go to manage. Uh, actually, it would be a sign, wouldn't it? And over to restroom, and we want to sign that at a rest... Actually, we'll need to... Ca Ooh. Got a bit of a problem here. We'll have to draw, and we'll cancel that. And cancel that because you can see we've got a problem with this. It's like double assigning it, which is interesting. I didn't know you could double assign it. And this is going to be the restroom. Got to manage restroom. It's um, male and G restroom female. There you go. Even though they are the same things there, uh, but it's just, you know. Might as well build the two. Over to floor tiles, and we'll change these to bathroom. Actually, no, it's this one, isn't it? Bathroom. There we go. Oh, yeah, so that one's wrong as well, is it? No. Hang on. It was right. That one is wrong. There's probably a comment about that. I just uh, never noticed it. Right, so we now have our... Movie theatre, which is... Oh, we don't... We have to go on tickets. Uh, it's losing his money, but we've got one. We've got we, we've got one in here. I mean, that's fine. It's bringing more people to the mall, I guess. Is it? Is it or isn't it? I, I don't really know. Well, I mean, they're probably all complaining because the movie's crap, which I don't blame them because they're sitting there with popcorn watching nothing because this one's on. <laughs> I'm guessing the way you're supposed to do it is you have several individual theatres, like rooms. So that's a theatre, that's a theatre, that's a theatre, that's a theatre, that's a theatre. And then you assign it to what, uh, to one ticket office. I think that's the way it does it. But that's against what like the game normally does. So yeah, um, I'm just going to say, cool, <laughs> move on, forget about it. Um... Actually, there is probably a way to do it. If we just remove th them. Should we see if that works? Just remove those. And if we get more people, we'll add the extra stuff in. Then this, then they'll start sitting in here. And then I'll just shake my head. So one missed sales opportunity because of restaurant. I'm not going to worry about one sale. Uh, we do need to have... Uh, well, this is where we're going to have like, like sell bread and such. But the problem is I forgot to put a loading zone in. 
Hmm, so we'll have to load from the other side, which isn't a big problem. So we'll go to build over two walls. We want to place a wall in here, like that. And we will have objects, double door, in about, well, we'll go there. Then a staff door there and there. Okay. So let's see if this actually works. So cashiers have come in, standing around, wondering why it's so empty. One person. And yay, it works. Yeah, cinema. Cool. Right, that actually is working, which I'm very happy about. Right, so we now have, um, eh, it's working again. Yeah, so removing that has fixed the issue. And that's that's one person watching that. I'm, I'm very glad that the, the projection is fine, though. Like, the beam, I did place it sort of randomly. I must admit, but it's worked out in terms of the sizing for this. It has worked out. Right, so this store, what can it be? Well, we do need, like, a fresh bready thing. It depends whether we're going for needs, or whether we even care about these, because, yeah, sometimes they're accurate, sometimes they are not. Uh, in fact, where, where's jewellery? Jewellery, look at that. Apparently, the yes, uh, demand is five, yesterday's sales four. But look at what we had. Look at it. Look at it. Yeah, probably more of these stores will probably uh, make more money, if I'm honest with you. But we do need to th sell things like... Um, well, let's have a quick look. From here, we've got... Uh, pretty much everything sold there. On these shelves, the food shelves, we've got everything sold. On these, we are missing detergents and bed sheets, which you can't really sell in the same store, to be honest with you. Um, and that's pretty much it, actually. It's just bed sheets. So, yeah, still loads of people coming in here, and we're making a l we make a lot of money in this one. That's really making us a lot of money. Move theater is still working as well, though, which I'm very happy about. There you go. Fantastic. And, ooh, a lot of people in here as well. Uh, is anyone getting pissed off because they're not getting served? They might be. So maybe manage... We'll go up to the fast food outlet. Which is now making us money. We will actually hire another cashier. Because it's getting to a point now where they do need another one there. Right, so there's only really one thing we haven't got sold here. So, I think this store will be like the, I think it will be, I don't think it will be detergents and uh, bath stuff. I think we'll do a bit of a mix between like, um, probably, probably, bed sheets. Actually, we might do all of these in household items. It might just be a household items area. So, detergents, light bulbs, bed sheets, cookware, dishes. Maybe. Maybe. I'm not really... Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. And then we, we know we're selling every one of those. And then we're selling pretty much everything that game has to offer. Right, we will leave it there. Next episode, we will crack on with that. In terms of objectives, you can see we are... Um, we're creeping up. Turn your daily profit of over 50,000. We're never going to get that, I don't think. Uh, same as the 200 customers on site. We are currently 143 out of 200. And make 50,000 total sales, which we are getting towards that now we're coming close to two-thirds of the way with 32,000 sales plus a bit of change there and in terms of money we are making yeah we're actually not making as much as before because well we got more losses because of the cinema and stuff but you know in general we are doing our read as always though comments in the comments thanks very much for watching take care and generic partings